Hi friends, this is Andy from Tech Store, and in this video, we're going to be showing you the process to disassemble the Samsung N100 and N150 Plus mini laptops. The netbooks uh, they were launched few years back by Samsung. So we have a laptop hands-on. In this process, we will be showing you how to basically upgrade your RAM and uh, replace the hard drive and maybe put in a SSD into it or uh, replace the keyboard, um, completely change the motherboard, Wi-Fi chip, everything basically. So if the laptop is something like this, colors might be different. It has a blue, white and red variant, but the basic outlook will remain the same. So if it says N100 uh, or a N150 plus, this is the process to be applied and the base if it looks like this. So if you have a same base, then you can apply this process. Alright, the first thing you need to do is flip the laptop and uh, remove the battery which is over here. Just uh, remove the battery by removing these two notches, one on the right, one on the left, and just removing the battery like this. Keep the battery on the one side. The first thing we're going to show you is how to replace the RAM. It's very straightforward. There's this one screw over here. Just need to remove it. And the memory slot is very much available over here. Just use your two fingers and uh, the thumb basically and uh, the memory comes out. It's basically a DDR3, 1600 MHz, 1.5 volt memory. Don't take a low voltage memory which is available very easily now. It's a 1600 or a 1333 MHz normal, uh, normal voltage uh, RAM memory that you have to buy. Just take a 2GB or a 4GB and uh, again fit it back inside. Just press it like this. Now, so to change the keyboard, basically there are these three screws which you have to remove. Let's take a star screwdriver and start removing them. And now we need to protrude the keyboard. Take a minus pin screwdriver and start protruding the keyboard. The keyboard will come off very gently. You'll have to remove the strip connector here. The strip connector is over here. Just remove it and the keyboard is out. Just take a similar keyboard here and uh, that's it. You can replace the keyboard of the Samsung N50 or N100 alright so now let's open the entire base here so all the visible screws whichever is visible over here we need to remove them so let's start from the hinge screw So all the screws are out now. Now we need to protrude the base. The base basically will come off. So we'll take a prior and we'll start protruding the entire base. Let's start from somewhere. You will see the base coming away. See to it uh, that this side is open last, this particular part because it is the headphone mic are holding onto the base. So if you try opening from this side, it will not open. So we have to open from this side. Let's keep trying. Right, and 
very gently open it like this. The base is out. So you can see the hard drive, you can see the motherboard, CPU fan, Wi-Fi chip, everything is over here. Now let's uh, remove the hard drive. First thing is we need to remove the Wi-Fi chip. This is one screw which is holding onto the Wi-Fi chip here. Let's remove it. It's a smaller screw. All the other screws are of the same size, so we'll keep it on the other side. Remove this uh, antenna cable and remove the Wi-Fi chip. So if you want to maybe replace the Wi-Fi chip, you have to go through the entire thing. Then we need to remove this particular cable so that the hard drive is not obstructed. But these two screws now which you have to remove for removing the hard drive. Right. So there's this cable which is connecting. So we need to remove that cable. And the hard drive is out. This basically is a 2.5 inches normal SATA hard drive HDD. You can take another HDD or you can take another SSD of the 2.5 inches size and you can replace uh, the hard drive. Basically another two screws over here and another two screws over here and this entire frame will come out. So once you remove the frame, you can fit another hard drive or SSD into this and fit it back inside. Alright, so let's keep these two screws of the hard drive near the hard drive. Now we have some more screws uh, for us to get to the motherboard before which we have to remove all these uh, small little connectors so first is this one just pull it out so that required this one of time this particular cable is required to be removed this is the VGA cable connecting to the LED display sides don't pull out the cable the cable might just come off so all right so the motherboard is pretty much visible now we have these screws one two and uh, the two screws which are visible now we'll start removing them keep it on one side a similar motherboard and replace it back onto your uh, laptop even the touchpad is visible over here so if you want to replace the touchpad this entire base has to be open will not go into that uh, the speaker is over here there's only one single speaker so if you have another speaker just remove this and uh, put it back here so you can reverse the process again reassemble the entire laptop and uh, you can refit the laptop here. So this is my friend, this is a video showing you how to basically replace the RAM, upgrade the memory, replace the hard drive to an SSD, replace the keyboard, uh, the Wi-Fi chip and the motherboard as well. Complete rip apart and disassembly of the Samsung N100 or N150 Plus, both of them absolutely have the same process. Hope you liked the video, do let us know your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe to us. You can buy all these components on our website techstore.co.in.